Polish police kill a solidarity demonstrator in violent street battles in Krakow. But the union vows its voice will not be still. This is O28 News. Good evening. Australia's foreign minister begins efforts to get Moscow back to the arms negotiating table, but the prospects remain dim. Details soon on O28 News. Good evening. American hostages still held in Lebanon as on-again, off-again release plans delay their trip to freedom. This is SBS World News. Good evening and welcome to our new viewers in Brisbane, Adelaide, the Gold Coast, Newcastle and Wollongong. A bloody end to a demonstration by peasant farmers in Manila. This is SBS World News. Good evening. Anger over Victoria's building society crisis and a homecoming turns violent in South Africa. This is SBS World News. Good evening. The Soviet Union has lifted its crippling economic blockade of Lithuania. Growing world pressure for an end to the war that turns children into soldiers. The death of a giant of German politics. And the rising damages bill in South Australia's flooding. effort to complete key bridge for Bosnian NATO mission. Italian Prime Minister set to resign and Yeltsin adamant on reform despite election woes. as the world goes through its hottest month on record. Australian held by military regime in Burma and famous soccer club gets its own TV channel. Good evening, I'm India and I do. Taking flight, Argentina's president flees the palace as crowds bay for his blood outside. British troops arrive in Afghanistan ahead of tomorrow's swearing-in of the new government. The Commonwealth takes a step towards expelling Zimbabwe. The Prime Minister comes to the defense of the Governor-General. And Moscow gives the Salvation Army their marching orders. Good evening, Anton Enos with SBS World News Tonight.
fraught visit, Australian bomb victim puts the Prime Minister on the spot in London. Not welcome. Britain draws up plans to deport alleged extremists. Don't panic. The message from Australia's medical chief as bird flu spreads to Indonesia. And saying sorry, Steve Vizard appears in court. Good evening, Anton Enis with World News Australia. To those stories in a, a moment, but first to some breaking news in Indonesia. Thousands of rebels clash with government troops in the streets of Chad's capital. Iraq vows a final battle against insurgents following the Baghdad carnage. Speculation Melbourne is in danger of losing its Formula One car race. And India on the back foot against Australia in Brisbane. Good evening and welcome to SBS World News Australia. I'm Leland Chin. And I'm Emma Simkin. Also tonight, tens of thousands take to the streets to protest moves to lift a headscarf ban in Turkey. And the New England Patriots ready to claim a special place in history in tomorrow's Super Bowl 42. But first, about 2,000 rebels have advanced through Chad's capital in Jamena. Flood levies hold, but Queensland towns are not out of the danger zone yet. I am very confident that we will hold the water out of the majority of the town that's inside that levy bank. Preferred Prime Minister Julia Gillard overtakes Tony Abbott in the polls, but still lags behind Kevin Rudd. If we do that hard work, I believe we can win the election when it's held in 2013. Dozens killed in Syrian shelling amid anger over UN veto. From SBS, this is World News Australia. Good evening and welcome to SBS World News Australia. I'm Anton Ines. And I'm Janice Peterson. Also tonight, the growing menace of politically motivated internet hacking. We examine a unique medical defence in high-profile hacking cases. And we have highlights as Madonna wows the crowd at the world's most watched halftime show, the Super Bowl. Authorities believe the Queensland town of St George will be spared a catastrophic flood. Bracing for impact, deadly Hurricane Irma about to make landfall in Florida. Fighting for a bag of rice, the desperate plight of Rohingya refugees. And a North Korean defector story, a special report from Seoul. This is SBS World News with Li Lin Chin. Good evening. Florida is bracing tonight for the force of Hurricane Irma, potentially the worst storm in the state's history. Why Australia's two biggest states are refusing to relax restrictions for Mother's Day and the federal government's plan to get Australia moving. US President Donald Trump likens coronavirus to an act of war. This is really the worst attack we've ever had. This is worse than Pearl Harbor. What did Cardinal George Pell know about pedophiles in the church? Findings from the Royal Commission revealed today. And decades of progress undone. The devastating impact of coronavirus on African wildlife. This is SBS World News with Janice Peterson. Good evening. Disappointment for many Australians tonight, looking for an easing of COVID-19 restrictions for Mother's Day this weekend.
A nation in mourning, a world forever changed. After 70 years on the throne, the UK's longest serving monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, has died. Strength, determination, and a deep sense of duty, tributes and condolences from across the globe. And as a new day dawns in London, a new era begins with a new monarch, King Charles III. This is SBS World News with Anton Innes. Good evening. It's a new day across the United Kingdom, the dawn of a new reign. The mass exodus from Nagorno-Karabakh, almost its entire population flee to Armenia. How Australia's Armenian community is responding. A dramatic turnaround to avert a last-minute US federal shutdown, but the funding deal leaves out billions of dollars of aid for Ukraine. I do think that we should fund the Ukrainians. They're fighting the Russians so that we don't have to fight the Russians. They only care about funding Ukraine and funding that war. Why Australian parents are paying nearly double in childcare costs compared to many other countries. And it was the turning point of World War II in the Pacific. Could this footage unlock new insights into the Battle of Midway? This one represents the very first time anyone has ever laid eyes on this wreck since it uh, was lost 81 years ago. I'm Catalina Flores. This is SBS World News. Good evening. More than 100,000 refugees have arrived in Armenia since Azerbaijan's military operation to take control of the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh. 